Now let me introduce to English diphthongs. Diphthongs, they are special vowels. Uh, as it is clear from the word um, diphthongs, di, di, di. Di means two. Diphthongs are basically the vowels which are the collection of two sounds, but they work like one single vowel. Okay? So a diphthong is a collection of two vowels, but it works like one single vowel. All right? And diphthongs are also called glide because there is movement. There is movement from one vowel to another in a diphthong. Okay. So, English RP accent has eight diphthongs. All right. And diphthongs are divided into two major categories. All right. Uh, like they are centering diphthongs. By centering diphthongs, we mean that the movement is from the sides towards the center of the tongue. Right. And very simply, that the schwa, which is a central sound, it is pronounced from the center of the tongue. There is movement towards schwa. All right. So the ending sound is a uh, schwa sound. Okay. And then the second category of diphthongs is closing diphthongs. Closing diphthongs mean that the, the tongue is moving up and it is raising towards the roof of the mouth, which is palate. Okay. So the ending sounds within these closing diphthongs are closed vowels. All right. Closing diphthongs are further divided into two subcategories, like ending with a sound, a, a is a closed vowel, and it is uh, articulated from the front part of the tongue, okay, right? So, ending with a sound, and then vowels which end with o sound, right? These are the two subcategories of closing diphthongs, all right? Now, let me give you the examples of these eight diphthongs with, with words from English, all right? So, the first diphthong is ear. Ear. The starting vowel is a, and the ending is schwa. Ear. In words like peer, or seer, or sheer, right? So these are the words which have this ear sound, right? Then another centering diphthong is air. Air. The starting sound is a, and the ending sound is a. Uh. In words like pear, right? Or bear. Okay. So these are the words which have this um, centering sound, right? And then there is third centering diphthong, which is oo. The starting sound is oo, and the ending sound is the central schwa sound, a, uh, right? Oo. In words like poor or tuo, right? So these are the words which have this diphthong, centering diphthong. These three are the centering diphthongs of English RP accent, right? And there are uh, closing diphthongs, right? Closing diphthong which ends with a, right? So the starting is a and the ending is a, right? So when they are combined together, then the sound pronounced is a, right? Like uh, in words like pay or play or say, right? So these are the sounds which have this A sound, all right? And then I sound, okay? Like by. So the starting sound is A, ah, and the ending is the closing A uh, sound, all right? I, by, all right? Then we have got another, um, this uh, closing diphthong, which ends with A, and the starting is O, right? The half-rounded O sound. And the ending is a in words like boy or toy, okay? Or in words like avoid. So this boy, boy is the type of uh, diphthong which ends with the third type of diphthong which ends with a. And we have got two more diphthongs which are closing diphthong and they end with o sound. The first one is starting with schwa, a, and it ends with o, right? In words like no, so, right? Or ro, okay? So these are the sounds which have this uh, diphthong. And the last diphthong is this, uh, the diphthong which starts with a, right? And ends with o. In words like now, all right? So these are eight English diphthongs. Uh, diphthongs are particularly important. They are not easily acquired, especially for the speakers of other languages. 
when they acquire English, they, they may be facing some difficulties in the beginning of their English language courses, but um, at the end, they, they may acquire it with a lot of practice. So diphthongs are particularly very important for learners of English, and uh, phoneticians are also uh, very much interested in uh, investigating various features of uh, these sounds.